I gotta be playing them. All right. Welcome to Light Late Night with J Love. I'm your host, the cat with the mo. What's the video about? Let's watch the video, y'all. The history of Back to the Future in video games has not been a pretty one. And so, my mandate to Telltale when they said we're going to do Back to the Future is this game cannot suck eggs. Uh, I was aware of his frustration at previous attempts at making a game. Definitely, like the first time we met, we talked about that. You know, with Telltale, our process starts with the story and the characters, and we apply the story mechanics later. And I think that people were really excited about the potential of where this could go, because we really want to protect the license. And you know, also for us, like getting Bob Gale signed off is everything. There's never going to be a Back to the Future Part 4. We're not doing that. But Telltale's Back to the Future game is pretty close to what a part four could be. Making a Telltale game is sort of modeled after the TV episodic model, where um, we, instead of telling one story at once, we tell a bunch of stories that are all connected over the course of a season. So in Back to the Future's case, it was five episodes. Uh, so first we figure out like the really rough story arc, um, and that's kind of where everything starts. We would have roundtable meetings with the Telltale guys would come down to Alright, I don't care about that. Let's, let's do this. Let's go back inside, y'all. Oh man, JC Penny. Wow, they got a spell wrong. That ain't, uh, I guess they're not trying to advertise. Go pop ups. I guess, I don't know. Definitely want the effects turned down. Right, let's go. Let me see if they're going to affect my trophy. That's all I'm worried about. They ain't going to affect my trophy. All right, I'm ready. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 118 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number yeah. one. Come on, I need. Hey, boy, get in there. That a boy. In you go. Get down. Get your seatbelt on. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right. Check, Doc. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. You got that thing hooked up to the... car? Watch this. Yeah, okay. Got it. Not me! The car! The car! If my calculations are correct, and this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. Just 
When the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. I sent him into the future. One minute into the future, to be exact. And at precisely 1.21 a.m. in zero seconds, we shall catch up with him and the time machine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Are you telling me that you built a time machine? Out of a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Besides, the stainless steel construction made the fuss dispersal. Look out! Well, I'm trying to help your game out. Make the graphics look better. Uh, Doc? Oh, that's peculiar. Oh, uh, where's the car, oh, Doc? Should have caught up with us 27 seconds ago. Man, why keep... Doc, uh, uh -oh. what happened, Einstein? Oh, sorry. No need for concern. Oh, sorry, it's probably know. just a minor miscalibration of the time circuit. Why could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. Oh my god. Don't worry about it. She froze it. See now I keep doing it by itself. I ain't doing it no more. I'm sorry, bro. Stop, you stupid remote. Okay, I think it's too. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I gotta try to fix this, but. I'm saying I have to bend it. I don't know what's wrong. This crazy remote. Let it stop. It's still doing it. Okay, I'll just take the batteries out. Okay, I'll stop. Okay, sorry about that. I get it. Yeah, cause see, somebody didn't waste like juice or something in here, so this remote just do whatever it wanna do. That's a shame. See, I like my remote. Alright. Alright, sorry about that, y'all. Sorry about that, man. Notebook, notebook. Got it. Flux capacitor? That's it! What the heck's a flux capacitor? My latest invention. The thing that makes time travel possible. In this notebook, I detail the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic. Let's see. It's mass equals I times Z, and E equals the square root of Z times C squared. And the flux dispersal rate is inversely proportional to the fourth root of N. Carry the nine, Ben. Um, Doc, shouldn't we get out of here before the Libyans show up? Is everything okay? Yeah, Mom. I, it, was, it was just a nightmare. Uh, I was in the past. And, and Doc was there. Well, you're safe and sound now. Back in good old 1986. But you'd better get up. Your father's waiting for you. Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy crap. I'm late.
Better late than never. You wouldn't believe how much rare stuff there is back here. That's dark stuff. The city has no right now, to. Now, son, I know you're upset, but your friend's been gone for months, and the city really seems hell bent on using his land for that new parking garage. And hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? It's just not fair. But at least things can't get any worse. Hey, Marty. Hi, Biff. Come to see if the old crackpot had any buried treasure? Nah, I guess I'm just... ...remembering. I'd better stick around. Doc might have left something important behind. And he wouldn't want it to end up at Biff's place. Einstein. Does nature contrive it so that even with a time machine, you can intervene to prevent your own conception, for example? Hey, Dad. Biff doing here? He wasn't a friend of Doc's. It's a public sale, Marty. Everyone's allowed. <laughs> Even Biff. Ah! I'm telling you, this sale is a joke. Doc's only been gone for a few months, and I happen to know- Yes, you've told us he's not dead. He's on a trip. Let's say you're right. Have you considered that this trip may not have been entirely voluntary? I hate to say it, but Doc's run up some pretty sizable debts around town. Maybe he's just hiding from his creditors. You got Doc wrong. Sure, maybe he's not so good with money. That's just because his mind's always on bigger things. But he's still a straight-up guy. He'd never run away from his problems. Well, you know him better than I do, son. But the bank is within its rights to sell off his stuff. Maybe you should try to find some things to remember him by before Biff grabs him on. Who's running this sale anyway? Oh, that'd be me, son. You? Why? Well, once it became apparent that the bank was going through with the sale, I volunteered to oversee it in order to make sure that Doc's stuff would be treated with a modicum of respect. Isn't that right, Biff? You got it, Mr. McFly! Do you think dreams can predict the future? Well, you know I don't go in for that mystical stuff. But I do think they can reflect how you're feeling about the future. What did you dream? Oh, just... <laughs> weird... stuff. Yeah, about Doc. Well, that's understandable, don't you think? I guess, but... I feel like it was telling me something. Keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. It took me forever to repair this thing after I blew it out last time, and now some jerk's gonna pick it up for pennies.
He's dead. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. Subject. Hey, Biff. Oh, hi, Marty. for something, uh, in particular. Yeah? Something valuable? Uh... Doc's not dead, you know. He's still around. Oh, really? Do you see him around here? you doing here? Well, I was as bummed as anybody to hear that the old nutcase had kicked it. He's not. But I'm not above picking through the remains. You know what they say. Don't look a gift horse in the butt.
Ah, uh, never mind.
y'all gotta forgive me on this one, y'all. Oh, this is late. What's going up? Anyway, we gonna finish this one. My girl playing Uncharted. So I thought we'd jump on there, play a little Uncharted multiplayer. So follow the stream. I'm gonna finish this one in the daytime when I got more energy. Cause I'm napping like a mug, yeah. So, um, yeah. Thanks for checking out my video. Sorry I wasn't entertaining in this one. It's kind of late. It wasn't really bringing a lot of excitement at the moment. But definitely check me out on Uncharted. I'm going to get down and play a little King of the Hill on Uncharted beta mode.